Streetwork works with street connected children uh, to ensure that they come away from the street to the centers, the centers run by Retrack, prepared and able to return to their families and communities. For children who are not able to return to their people for various reasons, we usually prepare them and uh, find families that uh, receive them and take care of them under the foster care program. Children who come to the street, we have found that most of them really run away from domestic violence. Usually poverty may not be an independent reason why a child leaves home because there are many poor families where children are at home. But when there is poverty and then there is, there is violence, uh, when there is not enough food at home, when children cannot go to school, when um, their, their needs are not being met, we, our children will leave home. For us who have worked with these children, you find that even when it is a child, because this is what the child has been exposed to, they are still forming character and, you know, they are still trying to, to find their level as, as young people growing up. You know, trying to help them to come to terms with the circumstances they have been exposed to has helped us too, to be able to work with them and take them back to their people. When we are preparing the child for foster care, Usually, they have known that um, it was not possible to go back to their people. Uh, to some few children, not returning to relatives, especially when we find that it's now foster care that is possible, to some children it's a relief. Why? Because they may have experienced a lot of abuse uh, by the people where they tried to live. So, when you tell them that there is, a, there is actually an alternative that they can live in a foster family, to some children it's like, okay, yeah, I think then I can find my, my, my life and, and move on. To some children, there is a lot of emotion attached to it because they are not able to return to family, and especially where um, the child has been rejected by family members, by especially the fathers, um, they keep wondering why. In, in such circumstances, we, we try to make sure that uh, we explain properly why the child cannot return, uh, but also keeping it open that it's possible that at some point um, a family member may, may, may come up or may be seen like a relative. And for the children who we are not able to locate anybody at all, um, we, we keep their hope alive that we shall keep trying to trace for somebody, for their family members. There are children who may have run away from like step parents and they really find they can't live with them and they are wondering why. So all this uh, that the, the life skills goes, takes the children through helps them to come to terms with those questions. Their questions are answered, they are helped to understand maybe why they are so angry and how they can express their anger without fighting. Um, when they are making decisions, how best can they make decisions? When they have friends, how can they relate to their friends? Um, when they are growing up, they have, I mean, some of them are in puberty, they are beginning to experience a lot of changes. So they are helped to come to terms with what is going, to understand what is going on and come to terms with it. I know that, okay, when I'm angry, I don't have to fight. Um, when they're emotionally, you know, changing, they know what is going on and they know how to handle it. But because some of the children have questions like, if my own people cannot receive me and I live with my family, who else can receive me? Or if my people have, uh, have mistreated me, where is can receive me and um, I don't experience the same problems. We explain that the foster families, first of all, uh, have come up willingly to receive the child and they, are, they have been assessed and found that they are able, they have capacity to take care of the children. We tell them that they are trained uh, to care for these children and that we shall continue to follow up in the family. Mm -hmm. 
But even when we are doing this, we allow child participation. We allow them to, to go away and think about what we are sharing. And we don't give them all this information at once. We will give them, you know, step by step. And we will also <coughs> explain that it's open. It's their decision. We do not force them to go into a family. Their life as children needs to continue. They need to go to school. They are growing up. So we, we, we help them to see that it's not all over that you know, life has ended. We, we explain that they can actually uh, be able to connect with their family again. The children have learned, when we are interacting with them, we find that they, have, they do not trust adults because they let them down and they ended up on the street. And then when they're on the street, it's the adults usually who you beat them, who, you know, throw a lot of, you know, words, negative words on them. They name them. They... But also sometimes when they want them to do certain chores for them, it's the most difficult things that are given to these children. For example, if they have to open up like clogged channels, it's the adults who, who put them there and at times we don't even pay them out there on the street. So um, eventually the children sort of remain at a distance in relating with adults. And uh, to build that trust takes a bit of time. Yeah, but what we have found is when they come to the centers and they find that staff are willing to talk to them, they are willing to hear their story. They begin opening up. So eventually we are able to build trust and these children uh, give the truth, actual information, even when they have committed offenses. When we work with these children, they have a lot of challenges. We need to remain very positive. Positive on their, really at times on their behalf. Why? Some of them will have like given up. It's like my father rejected me, my aunt couldn't live with me, I can't find any other relative. So at times they are angry. But we, we need to keep positive and keep hope alive that, yes, all that has, has happened, but life can be different for you.